Hey gang, David Henry from Inspired Tennis, uh, shooting a video tonight about um, a review of the string Turna Big Hitter Blue Rough. Um, if you guys are following me, you knew that I, I did a review about the string a few weeks ago, just telling about the string and um, how it got great reviews on a recent USRSA play test and um, the price of the string and kind of kind of set it up, but I hadn't played with it yet at this time. And I mentioned that I would get back to you all after I played with it. And I have, okay, and kind of have some mixed feelings about this string. I'm going to get to that in a second. Um, but kind of the first thing I noticed is it's a, um, you can't can't see it probably from there, but um, I don't even know if I can get it get it close enough with the camera. But it's a really cool, cool color of blue. Actually, you may be able to see it a little bit better if, um, if I hold the racket up there. Um, but anyway, really cool color of blue string. I like it. it it's, it's kind of, kind of neat. Kind of, kind of like a soft light blue color. Um, so there, there, there's a certain plus in the color. I like that. But um, what I noticed is, and I've noticed this a lot with different polyesters. Um, kind of on the high end polyesters, Luxalon Alu Power Rough is the one that I use uh, most of the time. Um, and when you're working with this string, it's just got this really solid, high quality feel to it. And um, I see this with Alu, I see it with like Babala, um, Pro Hurricane Tour, you know, and um, Pacific, and some of, some of the higher end poly that kind of just got a real solid, good feel to it. I like it. And then what I see sometimes with some of the lower end polys, um, it's got more of a, um, for lack of a better word, a plasticky feel to it, and um, just not quite as solid of a feel. And so, when I um, when I got this big big hitter blue rough out of the package, um, I was kind of disappointed with it. I'm like, ah, it's another one of those kind of cheaper lower end polys, um, and I was kind of disappointed with it. But again, I remembered, hey, you know, it got some great reviews from the USRSA play testers, um, so let's string it up and, and see how how it plays out. And um, so I did, and um, I played with it. Well. <clears throat> I strung it up. Um, I went with 58 pounds. Normally, when I do a Lou Power Rough, I do 57, but I went with one pound higher here. I figured it might be a little bit more of a powerful poly, so um, I, I took it up one pound. But um, I, I tested it, and um, right at, well, right after stringing, I measured it with my um, the tension, the dynamic tension, with my Beers ERT 300 tennis computer, and um, it registered. I wrote it down here. It registered a dynamic tension of 42. Um, which don't confuse that with the 58 pounds that I strung it at. Relative tension and dynamic tension, two completely separate things. Um, but a dynamic tension of 42. And then I let it sit for, um, I was going to do 24 hours, but I didn't get to it quite in time. About 30 hours of just letting it sit here with no play. And I measured it again, and I had a DT of 39. So um, that represented about a 7.14 percentage uh, loss in tension. And I believe the USRSA, I believe they use Prince Synthetic Gut as kind of their control string. And I believe in 24 hours that control string, string decreased tension. Um, uh, don't quote me on it, about 8 or 9 percent. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, this lost a little bit less tension than that in that time period for what it's worth. Uh, but anyway, on the court, um, I, 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 it's kind of a love-hate relationship with this string. Um, at first, it kind of just felt real board-like and, um, I don't know, just kind of a real dead, crappy feel when I when I hit the ball. Um, but then at other times, you know, I, it, it man, I was really getting a lot of spin with it, and it felt pretty good. So, again, it was kind of this love-hate relationship. It was kind of perplexing to me. Um, I liked it, and I didn't like it. I liked it, I didn't like it. And um, But I definitely will say that it, it, it is a little bit more springy, a little bit more powerful, because um, I believe it's a softer poly. I've not measured the stiffness of it. I looked up the stiffness between a loo and this for comparative reasons, but it um, feels a little bit softer, a little bit more cupping action in it, you know, um, and a little bit more power to it. And like I said, some really great spin with this string. So, um, you know, I, I, um, I played with it for about during the warm up of a match and, and about halfway through the first set. And then I switched back to my tried and true and trusted Alu Power Rough. 
um, that I had in another racket. And so um, I, then I was going to do the review, and I'm like, well, you know, let me let me give it a little bit more time. So the next week out in my 4-0 league, singles league, I played with it again for the first set. And, um, you know, I think I liked it a little bit more. So I'm not going to be switching to this string um, anytime soon over my Alu Power Rough. Um, you know, I still have not, I have not found a string that plays as well for my game as a loop power rough. Um, but this is a good string. I mean, and I think it's only about eight, eight bucks per set is, is what it sells for. So, um, you know, at that price point, it's certainly worth giving a try if, um, if you're a poly player and you're looking for a new poly that's fairly low price that does, you know, give a decent amount of spin. So, you know, um, like I said, I, I certainly certainly can't say I love it, um, you know, and I'm going to switch to it. But not not a bad string, and I think it's definitely worth, um, you know, giving a try if you're in the market for playtesting a new polyester. So hope that helps, gang. Thanks for checking in, and that's it for tonight.